Welcome to the InfoMullet YouTube channel. If you enjoy this content, please like or share. And if you'd like to support the InfoMullet by becoming a mulleteer, visit us on Patreon. We appreciate your support. All right, so this one I saw today, Ryan actually tagged me in a post. I want you to recognize this headline and this face. And this guy, is, uh, he has all the credentials, right? The assertion is, we could beat coronavirus if we just dropped all restrictive movements, let everyone get sick except for the vulnerable. And basically, for those who have listened to me over the past couple of weeks or read some of the stuff I've done, he's reiterating induced herd immunity. Induced herd immunity says we're going to protect the elderly and the vulnerable. We're going to sequester them. But everyone else should go to school, should go to work, should go out and lick doorknobs and doorbells because we're all going to be fine anyway. And we'll gain herd immunity, the fine, healthy ones of us, and that will protect the rest. And this is a theory we've seen over and over again. And it's appealing now. It's appealing because we've been in lockdown for, you know, between 14 and 21 days, maybe a month, depending on where you're at. The problem is, as we shift from this theory into the national response review, is let's take a look at the United Kingdom. The UK started this herd immunity. They did it. They abandoned it probably, I'm losing track of time, so maybe two weeks ago, because you see here they're having lots of deaths still. They've now got an infection rate, which is, you know, the actual could be as high as several million. And so if you look at this, it's a logarithmic scale going from one to 10 million now, days since first calculated infection. And what we have here is this blue line in the middle is the confirmed tested cases uh, that we know can be altered by the availability of tests. So what we did is we took the deaths which is this line, and we did a calculation to get an actual number of infected 20 days prior. The simple math is for every four deaths that occur on a day, 20 days prior, there are about 100 infected. This yellow line then calculates the deaths of infections to say at this point in time, we believe very strongly that there were over 100,000 infected because enough, um, uh, several thousand of them died, that that makes sense. From that, we then forecast three scenarios. The red is feared, the brown is a midpoint and the green is hope. This represents a sort of the virus is accelerating, it's transitioning and it's declining. And the gap between these two is probably the best we can get between confirmed tested and what's actually going on in the environment. Now remember, the, so this, this entire theory of induced herd immunity that this professor is, is, is advocating, it's not that we have experimental data, this isn't an experiment, but we have real world evidence that it doesn't work. So as you see this article come out, I'm gonna clip this video and make a little mullet clipping so people can say, hey, what about induced herd immunity? And you can go back to it, um, use that. Thanks for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to follow the InfoMullet, visit us on Facebook or Twitter. And if you'd like notifications when we post new video content, click on the red subscribe button below the video. If you've ever wanted to become a mulleteer and support the InfoMullet, visit us on Patreon. We appreciate the support.